What's going on y'all? Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today what I want to discuss is three things that you shouldn't do as an athlete, especially a young athlete. You know, me living this life, me living this career, there's some lessons that I wish that I had known at a younger age. And also some lessons that I realized other people failed at that I actually implemented that helped me out, things that I know that can help, you know, whoever's listening, whoever needs this right now, they can, things that can help them out. Number one, and probably one of the most important lessons I learned was not to burn bridges. You know, as many coaches as I've seen flip around, whatever, whether it's college football, whether it's even high school football, especially in the NFL, things happen. And this is not just sports, but this is just in life in general. Things happen where, you know, somebody that's your subordinate right now might end up, you know, being somebody that is on the other frame of things. You know, your boss right now may end up being somebody that ends up working for you. Things like that happen, especially in football. And one thing I wanted to do, especially coming out of high school, I had a lot of offers, had a lot of opportunities to play for certain teams. And what I wanted to do was make sure I respected every single coach that gave me the opportunity to play the sport I loved in the next level. And I saw a lot of people who didn't do that. And it's interesting because out of my top five schools when I was coming out, I ended up having four of them, at least four head coaches, end up being on my staff or, or being a part of my team in some, some way, shape, or form. And so I saw these same people again, and it happens all, all the time for certain people. So. That's one lesson I learned. Don't burn bridges. You never know when you're going to see that person again. You, people always remember how you treat them. You know what I mean? People might not remember your face. They might not remember what you said. But they'll always remember how they felt when they were around you. And just always remember that. Number two, I learned that it is not okay to ignore the signs that your body is giving you. Your body sends you signs when you're, when you're playing athletically. And it, and it could be something so, so tiny. Um, but the, the, the smallest sign, treat it as the biggest thing because it, it can turn into something bigger. I'm not talking like a little scratch or something. That can turn big if you don't take care of it. But, you know, when it comes to injuries, I had like tendonitis coming in like early in college. And it's something that, you know, I was able to play with. I was able to just manage, not really think much of it, not change my eating habits, anything like that. And it ended up being something that I'm still dealing with on a bigger level when it comes to my knees. And, you know, that's, that's just one instance. But just being around the league and understanding and seeing people deal with things, seeing massage therapists and they're telling me, like, this is tight because this, this is something that's been in an issue since Little League football probably. This is something that's been just because how tight it is, how much scar tissue it is, this is something that has to have been in your body for at least 12 years. I've been told that and understand that these things, if you're not, if you don't take care of them early, can still continue to cause you problems later on. Third thing I learned, and, and the final thing was to, to always, let's say never wish bad upon somebody that is either your opponent, even somebody on your team when it comes to your position, somebody that you're competing with for a job, never wish bad upon somebody. And that just kind of goes back to just karmic law, it comes back to just whatever goes around comes around. When you're really wishing bad on that person or wishing somebody to get injured or something so that you can have that opportunity, anything like that, and it's, and it's easy to do, I would advise not to do it because it, it, it always kind of comes back to you. When you're wishing bad on that person, you're actually wishing bad on yourself because we are all one. We are all in the same space in this universe. And that is really, truly something that I know I've, I've dealt with in my past. I'm not afraid to say that at all. Like, and it's something that I've had to shut my mind off from thinking like, man, I, I want to be out there and this guy I'm competing with, or man, this guy's talking a whole bunch of trash on the other side, like, or man, this guy's really good, you know, I'm kind of thinking maybe if somebody were to have him limping, he wouldn't be able to beat us. Those thoughts creep up, we're all human. And so, 
as much as you can, try to diminish those thoughts when you feel it, when you hear it coming, when you feel it, don't act on it, and really understand where that's coming from and how that can lead to further complications. And just because that's just how the universe works. So I hope those were three important lessons for you guys. If you needed it, I hope you heard it. I hope you learned something. Don't make, uh, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you. Till next time, clocking out. Peace.